What's going on YouTube? The day is finally here. If you watched the last video, I told you I had a huge shipment coming from NFLshop.com and it arrived today. So this might be a little bit of a longer video, so I'm just gonna get it started here. I ordered eight things, I remember that, and I kind of have in my mind what they are, but I'm trying not to think about them too much. I'm hoping that maybe there'll be something in here I forgot that I even ordered and it'll be a surprise to me. But uh, we're about to find out. Here's what I'll do. I'm just gonna reach in there and just randomly grab things and we'll see what comes out and we'll review in that order. So, um, here's item number one. What's it gonna be? Okay, I know what this is. I remember ordering this. I'll try to get you the official names here, but I went to Atlanta Falcons training camp a few, uh, a couple weeks ago, and uh, a lot of the, not really the coaches, but some of the employees were wearing this shirt, which I thought looked awesome. I'm not normally a collar shirt guy, but, you know, sometimes, you know, if you need to go to like a wedding or a funeral, uh, you know, you need to have one of these, and I thought this looked cool, that was a joke, by the way. But I do think, you know, if I am going to wear a collar shirt, that this would look really cool uh, with the white stripes here. Let's see. Got this uh, ATL here, nice patch sewn on. Um, it doesn't have the Falcon, kind of like in that draft hat that I reviewed a couple years ago. It was an ATL just like this, but with the Falcon wing right there and they just did ATL without that this time for some reason. So I don't know why they did that, but it still looks good in black and then the white shirt with the gray stripes I think looks really cool. That'll be a nice thing to wear at some point uh, during the season this year. This is a, looks like screen printed or heat pressed Nike swoosh there. Nothing else. Oh, NFL uh, shield right there on the other sleeve. So pretty simple. It is a somewhat nicer shirt, I guess. Tags here, size XL, NFL on field, so somebody must be wearing it. Maybe, I almost kind of think like the water boys are going to be wearing that. Or dry, Nikki, dry, made at least, with at least 75% recycled fibers. And uh, on field apparel again, size XL, Nike, swoosh. And the back, nothing on the back, of course, you wouldn't expect that, except this uh, little Atlanta Falcons tag there. Nice touch, I think. Pretty subtle, pretty simple. Looks good. I like it. We're off to a good start. We'll keep it rolling. We got a, a lot of items to get through here. And we'll reach into the bag and see what's next. What's it gonna be? What is this? Maybe this could be the surprise. It definitely looks like a shirt. It's pretty light. Got a NFL shield look sticker on there. Ooh. Oh yeah. I do remember ordering this. I guess I'm gonna remember ordering all these when I see them. This is my favorite type of Falcon shirt. If they don't, the end zone now says ATL since they went to the new uniforms, but at the Georgia Dome and at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in the beginning, the end zone said Atlanta Falcons, just like that. And I have this shirt in red and I have it in black. I never had it in white and I saw that when I was making this huge order. And it said, I need it in white. That way I'll have all three colors. I just, some about this. Again, simple. That's two white shirts, by the way. I had two simple kind of white shirts that I don't know. I guess maybe that was just the mood I was in, the type of stuff I was trying to order. But I really, really, I love the red and black ones that I have. And now I have a white one. I think this is a great shirt. And I'm happy to complete the collection. Again, did size XL t-shirt. Looks like that's about the right fit. Um, Nothing on the back on there. NFL shield on one side again. Nike swoosh on, on the left. Nothing on the back, which is good. Just the way I like it. Simple, awesome, easy. All right, Nike dry again. Oh, what's this? Anti-odor. $35. That was um, $65, by the way, that one. That one's a little bit more expensive. Real nice um, plant material on that, though. I guess you gotta pay for the, uh, the Nike materials standard fit nfl on field apparel again although i don't think you ever see him wearing this. this is a little bit of an older item this was not new for the season like that like the first shirt was all right two down four six to go yeah i can't do much what do we got what's this is this 
I don't want to give any spoilers because I am expecting a few different things. Another kind of light feeling thing. What could this be? This is, oh, okay. Yeah, I remember ordering this too. I guess I'm going to remember ordering everything. This is a Fanatics branded t-shirt, which I was hesitant to buy. Uh, Fanatics, I bought some of their stuff when they first started making things, uh, you know, several years ago. and wasn't too impressed and I haven't really I kind of stayed away from them since. But I saw this and I thought it was a cool looking shirt. This is brand new. It's kind of like a camo black, like real stealthy, a little bit hard to see, but it's a camo black Falcons uh, shirt here with the, uh, again, uh, screen printed Falcon on there. Just red and black, not the full colorway with like the white in there. Just standard red and black, again, on a black, on a uh, almost black shirt, but with kind of a camo-y, uh, the sublimation in there, if you can see that. Some red stitching on the bottom, Fanatics flag there for the brand. Fanatics, created for fans. Anything on, nothing on the left sleeve for these guys. Lots of Fanatics, Fanatics all around the collar. Jeez, they really want you to know you got a Fanatic shirt. And uh, nothing on the back. So I thought this looked cool. Uh, first impression on this, it's not as cool as I thought it would look. So maybe I was right about the Fanatics brand and stuff. I'm gonna keep it though. Uh, you can never have too many Falcon shirts, right? I mean, I already just got three new ones and there'll be plenty of time to, season's just getting started, so I'll have plenty of days to, to wear this all year. I did, if you're noticing, kind of buy more summery stuff this, this order, as opposed to like sweat, I didn't get any like sweatpants or sweat hooded sweatshirts. Um, it kind of stays hot in the Atlanta area until October at least. So maybe I'll have to make another order on the Crucial Catch stuff and definitely the Salute to Service stuff. All right, three down, five to go. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? I don't know, let's do it. Let's take a look. I think I know what this is. Yes, okay. This is the Atlanta Falcons for 2021 official Coaches and players on field shorts. So if a player doesn't dress for the game, wants to wear shorts, this is like the team issued stuff. They Coaches were wearing these. A bunch of coaches were wearing these during um, training camp. So this is this year's, this is brand new. This is Nike, we're back to Nike here. Got a uh, nice uh, heat pressed uh, Falcon right there. Screen printed Nike swoosh. Again, the, the NFL shield right there. A little bit of red stitching halfway down both sides. On field, you get the on field tag there. Again, you'll be seeing uh, this stuff, uh, the players and coaches wearing this stuff. Nothing on the back. So again, we're going for sort of a more simpler, I guess, look with this order. And I think that's better. You, you know, a few crazy looking things are okay to have in your collection, but generally, I think simpler stands the test of time. So, yeah, I mean, I, 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 even after this season, I can see myself wearing these shorts for quite some time. Got uh, shorts are a little weird um, on me. So I usually wear size XL shirts and then I'll wear large pants. Um, and then shorts is real iffy. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. I actually, when I, if you watched the last video, when I went to the Atlanta Falcon store, I, uh, Bought that visor because I couldn't use the coupon code on this order. Well, I got to try, look at, not to really try on, but look at what the size sizing was on some of these. And I figured out, I think I'd rather have XL than L for, for these shorts anyway. Stay tuned. All right, we halfway. What's gonna be next? What is this? Oh, yes. I know this is. Man, I'm like forgetting more of the things I remember them as soon as I look at them, but I'm really forgetting them until I get them out of the box. So uh, this I thought was really cool. This is another on-field. So again, if you are watching the the game, the player's not dressed or they're wearing t-shirts or shorts, maybe even the coaches, this is, at least for September, going to be their on-field shirt. This And this is uh, this uh, kind of 
template, I guess, is what all the teams are going to have. It might not be this off-white or gray. It might have their team color also. I saw a few different versions of this for the Falcons. They have a black one. But two lines, team logo, circle there. What does the circle say? What does this say? Football Conference, Seoul 1H National Football Conference, South National Football. Oh, that's supposed to say South. So a couple of letters rubbed off there. That's not good. But again, the line of Falcons, kind of like digital, kind of 21st century Terminator type font there. Uh, Nike Swoosh, I guess they're consistent with this. Nike Swoosh left, NFL Shield right. Somewhat simple, but again, those are like the on-field design. So they get, they do get a little more ambitious with those every season. NFL on-field apparel again, love that. That's uh, my go-to, standard fit. Nike Dry, I guess they're all Nike Dry this year. So that's good, in case you get rain on. A size XL for t-shirts. And uh, I like the look of this. The, the quality seems okay. Like this seems like a big patch. I was hoping this would be a little bit nicer of a printing on here. But I really like the design of this and I like that this is the 2021 on field. So got another, another white. We'll call this white, even though it's gray. It's Heather, Heather white, I guess. But another, got another white Falcon shirt. So I got three of those. What else did I get? And short, one pair of shorts. Is that it? Have I forgotten something? So maybe now we're only halfway. I don't know. I can't even keep track of that. I've been seeing four or five things. I think I, I just peeked. Sorry. I just saw what this is. This is this is the good one. This is a big one. Ready? Bam! Oh yeah, here it is. Oh, uh, this is the thing that uh, cost the most and I was most excited to get. Welcome to the Atlanta Falcons official road jersey limited edition for Mr. Calvin Ridley. Saw so in the other video I had, um, uh, I, when they first came out, I ordered the game jersey, the cheapest version. Of the uh, of his jersey in the black version, the home version. So this is a nicer version. This is one step up. Uh, currently, this, this costs another extra thirty dollars more than the game jersey does, and I would say it is totally worth it. Much harder to get. Uh, it's like you can't get a Calvin Ridley limited jersey in black or red. You might be able to get, no, I don't even think you can get a throwback. I think the only one where you can buy it in this this uh, limited style is the white one. So they're, they're behind on jerseys for some reason. I don't know why, but as they come out, I'll probably want to get more of them. But we'll take a little bit more of a look here. We got XL again for jerseys for sure. These tend to run a little bit small. So if you're on the fence about this, I'd get one size bigger. But for me, you know, I'm kind of between L and XL. So I just went with XL, should be good. Patch there, I think that's going to be the same, whether you get game, elite, limited, whatever. Maybe not the legend one, the t-shirt ones, but. Uh, engineered to the exact specifications of the National Football League, NFL players, NFL Shields, whoosh. Well, Calvin Ridley is number 18, you know that, that is stitched. This is not too, this black is not stitched over this red though. This is a patch kind of making it look like that, but the, this patch is, is stitched on. So uh, the one and the eight single patch, Stitch on the A. This ATL actually is not a patch. This is like heat pressed uh, graphics. Also, heat sealed on there, but still looks good. Uh, NFL shield right there, the glossy, the bright, shiny one. Okay. Uh, sewn on 18 patches on the sleeves, just like these, just smaller. Falcons patch knot. It doesn't have like the raised detail where you could feel the wings. It's just a flat Falcons patch, but that's better than the printed one on the game version. See that stitched on there. Nike swoosh switch. Nike swoosh stitched. That's what we call it for. Same thing on this side. Falcon stitched right there. XL on field, dry fit. Common uh, recurring theme here today. On field apparel, NFL PA. Standard fit, dry. There we go. 150. And we'll look at the back. Nice nameplate there, stitched on, Ridley na uh, name, stitched on there in red. Again, not double stitched, just 
a patch that looks like it was double stitched, single stitched on there, but also, but pretty cool. And it's got this, this sort of like flux capacitor thing. That's, that's very true to the uniforms you see on the field. This is not the on field version, but it's the one closest to it. If you're not going to buy a $380 Nike Elite jersey that you can't even use the coupon for. So real happy with this. Can't wait to, you know, they'll be wearing this for, for years at least. So, and hopefully Ridley will be a part of the team for that, for that time. So real excited about that. Can't wait to wear this. I'm going to wait till their first road game and save this and wear this one. Then. This is a, my favorite part of the, it's a good time to look at that uh, jersey because it's, I think we're more, a little bit more than halfway through. So we'll get to the home stretch here. That was my favorite part of the order for sure though. But let's see, we got uh, a couple more things. Okay, this I kind of uh, hinted at earlier. I saw these in the Atlanta Falcons store. I do not have any red Falcon shorts. I have some Georgia red ones that I have to wear with the Falcon stuff sometimes. If you wanna, you know, Falcons have a lot of black stuff. So it's nice to have red shorts to go along with it. So these just go right to the, the um, sizing on this. If you have been watching all of this all the way through so far, thank you. This is size large. Now, if you were watching earlier, what I was holding up here was size XL. To me, the size L on this and the size XL on those seem the same. So I'm really glad I got to look at that and and tell. So if you're gonna buy any of these, go go a smaller size, or at least if you're on the fence, go smaller for this red pair and go the bigger size for the, for the black pair we looked at earlier. Uh, this is not official or on field or anything like that. It is official, you know, licensed merchandise or whatever. I don't know what the deal is with this ATL just in the block letters. I saw that on just a couple of their things uh, coming out this season. I I like the, going back to the very first thing, I like this, ATL, but with a bird as the A. I don't know why it's just ATL like that, but I did really, really, really need some red Falcon shorts, so good enough. Got the Falcon logo there. There's no mistake in it. Nike Swoosh, all this stuff seems to be uh, heat pressed on there. Uh, nothing, nothing on the back. Got some gray and black accents. On the side, pockets of course. There were pockets on the other set of shorts, by the way. I just think I lost over that drawstring. Uh, men's L, size L. Team apparel, yeah. So no no Nike dry or on field or whatever. Whatever other things, standard fit. Whatever other things that were on all those other things that were this one. This is a little bit of a, this is like a good pair of shorts to go running in. Just real lightweight little cheaper kind of flimsier material not bad i'm not saying it's bad quality but you know just more of a i don't know around the house maybe kind of like good running shorts or just good walking out to the mailbox type shorts maybe even like you know before bed type thing all right i lost count there might be one thing let me see if i can feel i think there's only one thing left to the home stretch and ta-da! Now I know what you're thinking. Two days ago, I just did a video of my new black Falcons visor, right? And so I just ordered another black Falcons visor. And the reason I did that was because I was checking out and somehow I came upon this. I remember this, this is from the 100th season, NFL 100, when they kind of did like some sort of history on the team. Like Falcons 1966, they were putting those patches on there. And I remember seeing this and I really did like this hat slash visor combination for that season, whatever that was, 2019 probably. And I never bought it, but it was $9.99 and there were only like eight left. And I thought, well, I'll just throw it in there, you know. I bought all that other stuff. So what's, what's an extra $9.99 added on there for a... Falcon's visor that I always thought looked kind of cool, and now I have two. So now I can wear the one or the other, or both, the, well, rotate them. Um, red underbill, again, not really uh, anything exciting here, it's just a visor. So nothing over here, no NFL shield except for that, the 100 thing, but that was a common thing all season. But I kind of like it, let me see, it looks like it was, eh, it's all right. I'll have to 
make that a little less tight. That was uh, really velcroed on there, but yeah, now I got another Air Falcons visor to wear this season. Plus all this other stuff. What'd you think? Let me know what your thoughts in the comments. Uh, definitely a like and subscribe if you stuck with me for the whole video. I'm real excited for the season. Falcons got boat raced in their first uh, preseason game, but another week is here. So uh, we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm still real excited for this team. Yeah, is there? No, nope, that's it. There wasn't anything uh, extra in there. So uh, we got what we got, uh, at least until maybe next month. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll hold off on making any more orders until then. Uh, I'm, I'm real excited. I'm happy to have all this stuff and start start wearing it. I'll let you know. Uh, if you want to subscribe uh, to me on Snapchat, Instagram, or Twitter, ATC underscore KOZ, you can see me um, surely be wearing this stuff uh, a lot in the next uh, month. And uh, that's it for now. I don't have anything new coming, so... Um, if you get any of this and have it, want to tell me anything about it, I'll, I'll be looking out for your comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.